Add and Subtract are the two most basic blend modes, but they can be a bit hard to use. As their names suggest, Add can only increase or brighten values, Subtract can only decrease or darken values. Both Add and Subtract can give you harsh results, so let's try to understand them better. Add is the simpler of the two. That's because with Add, the order of your images doesn't matter. If you swap your bottom with your top image, the result is still the same. We call this behavior commutative. Whatever the order, the result is the same. When building a mask, Add brings in more white, visible areas, like detail spots or dirty specks and splotches. Add combines the white areas from both components, adding the white from the top and the bottom together. Though you shouldn't expect areas that are already white to change. Our value range is limited to one or white, so going higher is impossible when using low dynamic range. For height maps, Add works like an outward extrude. The wider something is, the more it is extruded. Notice that the shape of the bottom layer is preserved when you add something to it. With low dynamic range, you hit that maximum value of one very easily. You'll see the height map flatten out or not even see any effect at all. Using your blend mode's opacity slider can help here. It reduces the effect of the add to make it more subtle and it also makes things more visible and easier to understand. Subtract is the opposite of add. It takes away values, reducing them and making the visual result darker. Subtract is a bit harder to use because the order of your components does matter. Swapping the top and bottom component gives a completely different result. This behavior is the opposite of what add does and is called non-commutative. Subtract is useful if you want to remove areas from your mask, making them black quickly. In low dynamic range, subtract never affects black areas, so a top layer being subtracted from the bottom will easily turn white areas into full black. For height maps, subtract works like an inward extrude, moving results more the wider the top component is. Again, the opacity slider is important, as height maps can easily hit the bottom limit of zero, causing unwanted visual results. You should remember that low dynamic range issues with add and subtract, where you hit max and minimum limits, can easily be fixed by using high dynamic range. In Substance Painter, height maps always use high dynamic range by default, so you won't have any problems there. Let's quickly recap what add and subtract are useful for. Add combines two masks, keeping the white from either of the two components. Add extrudes or moves outward in height maps, keeping detail of the bottom layer. Subtract removes areas from a mask, always leaving black unaffected. Subtract extrudes or moves your height inward, keeping the bottom's detail. That covers both blend modes. We hope you learned something.